Hey guys, Mark here at Blue Glow Electronics. As you guys know, I don't do a lot of videos in exchange for free samples of products, uh, kind of product reviews, um, but timing just happened to hit me perfectly. I was rounding out the bench down here in the audio barn, and I had the need for being able to put a piece of test gear over here on the bench, and beside of it, have the oscilloscope and one camera view of both the oscilloscope, multimeter, and what I'm working on, and not have to have split screen with something watching the oscilloscope up on the bench, two cameras, so on and so forth. So, as you can see here, you're going to get a three-in-one oscilloscope that's two-channel, 80 megahertz. You're going to get a waveform generator, and you're going to get a multimeter. By the way, guys, this is not an audio analyzer. It can't tell you distortion, things of that nature. It's just a good handy bench top unit, okay? But the price, $169 on Amazon, minus a $20 coupon they've got right here, minus, I'm gonna give you a discount code down below, along with the link that I would, if you decide to buy one of these, I would appreciate you using this link to buy it. After all that, it's gonna be around $110 for one of these. How can you beat that? So, the nice little box that came in here, inside the box we had the manual, we had a BNC to alligator clip, so this would be great for your function generator out um, needs, has a USB-C cord to power and the uh, you charge the unit right here, a uh, set of nice silicone um, test leads that would plug in down here. And really, that's what was included in the manual. A nice little carrying case that came with it, as well as um, do some one oscilloscope probe. So everything you really need to get started with this meter came in the box. All right, guys, let's boot this thing up and take a look at it here. Hold the button down. It boots up. It says, Innovation Never Stops. Beautiful color display on this unit. Lots of angles, it looks good. I'm super happy with that. Right now it boots up in DC voltage meeting, uh, reading. And if you'll notice, it tells you up here highlighted in yellow, the two plugs down here that you should be connected to uh, to take a measurement here. I'm gonna flip over here to like, um, oh, let's go to continuity beep, quick beep. I've seen some units that the beep's not super quick. This one's good. Let's go back to um, our voltage reading and take some readings. So what we're going to do here is use a little unit that I have here. It's from a company called DMM Check Plus, and I'll give you a link below to their website. Uh, this is last year's model. Um, as you can see, they provide a calibration certificate for all the various uh, specs on this thing, and it's lab certified. Uh, this one's from 228.23, and I'm going to use this as a reference standard to check this. These are about, uh, this one was like a hundred and some bucks, but the new model they've got out now, and I don't think they sell this one anymore, the new one's a little over 200 bucks. But um, if you ever want to know if your equipment's working well, this is the device to use for it. So I've got it on DC voltage right now. Let's come here to our little DC voltage probe. This should be five volts exactly. It looks like we're settling at 4.997, which by the way, guys, that's three one thousandths of a volt off. I would consider that pretty darn good. Um, that's 0.003% accurate here. And this unit has a little dip switch I just flipped so we can now measure AC voltage. And let's see how it pans out. 4.956, so there again, or one thousandths off. I think that's extremely well uh, for one of these units. So let's take a look at a few more. Let's go to resistance. So the resistance scale is over here on this side. Um, this should be 100K. And we have 99.9K on this unit. So off by 0.1, this should be 10K. 99.98K, so off by 0.02%. 1K here, we're, nine, we're right on at 1K. And at 100 ohms, we're at 100.1. So, golly, this thing's pretty darn good. Now, I will tell you, 
This is not a few thousand dollar piece of lab calibration equipment. Thus, I don't know whether this is all point by point zero zero one or whether it's this unit. Either way, we've got pretty good specs. Let's go over here and check some capacitance values. Um, and for this, this thing has inductance and capacitance. By the way, this is not an inductance meter. Uh, let's go in here and look. This is 0 0.001. Look at that. 1 nanofarad. Spot on. 0 0.1 should be 10 nanofarads. So 9.86. Pretty close. Should be 0 0.1. We've got 101 nanofarads. So that's really close. And this should be 1 microfarad. 1 more at 1.037. Look. Here's the, here's the deal on capacitance readings with this. These are some really long leads. If you want to read high quality capacitance readings, you need to get a dedicated LCR meter. And by the way, the leads on an LCR meter are about that long. Um, you get a lot of stray inductance and capacitance in these long lines. So I think for a digital multimeter with long regular leads, I think this thing is measuring excellently. Now, let's take a look here at the top. We've got three inputs, channel one, channel two, and waveform generator out. So we're going to go check out uh, the oscilloscope module on this unit, the channel one oscilloscope here. And I'm actually feeding this with a signal out of my BNK unit up top, and I'm not seeing much. So here, I'm going to go down here and hit auto and let it find my signal, and it does. Boom, right away. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the screen a little better. And what we're going to do now is I want to see some on-screen display. What, am I, what signal am I sending into it, right? So if you come here to Menu, I'm going to go down to Voltage. And then I'm going to tell it Volt Peak to Peak, so I'm going to highlight that. With that, then I'll hit the Menu button, and look, up on the screen here now, pops up and tells me I'm putting out about 800 millivolt signal into this unit right here. Um, if I want to add another one, I can come in here and say menu, and I can come down and I can say time, enter, and I want to see frequency. So I'll hit enter, and I'll go back to the menu. And guys, I figured all this out without the manual. It's just clicking around. Now I'm seeing 1.0 kilohertz and my 800 millivolts, both reading on the screen. And this is what I really love about this. Let me zoom back out so you can see this. Watch how easy it is to zoom in or out on your, your, uh, your signal. The left right arrows zoom in and out on the time domain, and the up and down arrows right here zoom in and out on the voltage domain. So uh, if you really want to get in there on that signal, um, you can. And by the way, if you want to go back, just hit the auto button, and boom, it kind of zooms in and appropriately. So I love it. Uh, super simple to use, little desktop oscilloscope, and it does on-screen measurements here for you. Check this out. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, adjusting up here on my unit as I decrease the signal fleet feeding in, as I increase the signal, as I decrease the frequency, as I increase the frequency on this. And let's say I get it on up here like this, where it's getting hard to read. All you got to do, hit this auto button. Boom, it finds the right spot for you here on the scope just about instantly. Um, you know, whatever type of there's a square wave, you know, this thing can do it all. So I uh, absolutely love the functionality, and I love the, uh, the auto zoom in on everything at that point. So what might make this little meter even more impressive would be if I just fed in from one side here with a loop of... BNC cable. So I'm now coming out of this, and if I hit over here AWG, sine wave, it's tell you where the output's coming from right here, and I could program it so the output would be coming out of any of these, but I can tell it sine wave, square wave, ramp, sine, so three different types of waves it can put out. I can pick the frequency, so right here I've hit one. I'm going to come down, I'm going to go over here to K, I'm going to hit K, all of a sudden, I've got one kilohertz. I've got a two volt peak to peak going out of this unit. And now if I come back to the oscilloscope here on it, check this out. Ah, we are all of a sudden measuring what's coming out of this unit, not my external unit. If I go in auto, boom, zooms right down in on this thing. 
tells me I've got a two, basically 2.2 2 volt signal uh, at one kilohertz here on this thing. And like I said, easy, easy. Just using these up and down buttons, I can zoom in and out all I want to. I, I, I wish every oscilloscope had this on it. <laughs> be absolutely phenomenal. The second channel works just the same so you could be measuring maybe the input of something, the output of something, comparing the two signals to each other, um, so on and so forth. I am super impressed with the functionality. One thing I did try doing earlier was going back over here um, out of oscilloscope mode and into kind of volt reading mode uh, and then I tried putting it on Hertz and I noticed it wasn't reading what's going on here and what it tells you though is we're reading frequency of what's being fed in here via these two plugs which I don't have anything in right now so there's really a little bit of separation between the multimeter in this unit and the function generator and the oscilloscope section of it they're not integrated together if that makes sense from being able to use the multimeter to automatically read what's coming into the input on channel one right here but absolutely love the functionality of this unit and how simple it is to use let's take a look at the manual real quick here I mean, it's well detailed out nice appendix tells you all the specs on it uh, all the functions this is a well done manual um, a lot of these manuals on the uh, Chinese made products like this um, you know they were you could tell they were originally written in Chinese and then someone converted them to English that's not the case with this someone did a really good job uh, laying this manual out in English so I give them a good 9 out of 10 on this manual alright guys so let's take a look at my overall evaluation of this unit Design wise, I gave it an 8.5 out of 10. I think they packed a lot of functionality into a little bitty package and they seem to have designed it fairly well. Um, you know, it is a Chinese made product, rapid manufactured, uh, probably a, a value engineer the heck out of this thing. Um, so, you know, probably not perfect, but hey, you know, it's also not a $4,000 fluke unit. So uh, I think design, 8.5 out of 10. Functionality, I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. I think it, you know, I mentioned, you know, there was a thing here around, you know, splitting this menu. There's little things they could tweak, but for the most part, I'm happy with it. Ease of use, intuitive. I gave it a 9 out of 10. Heck, I probably could have given it a 9.5. I figured out how to use this whole entire thing without opening the manual at all. I only went to the manual to see how good of a manual it was and I never really needed it for anything and using this meter. Um, so I thought it was super intuitive, super easy to use. I told you I wish, wish every oscilloscope had this little functionality. Build quality. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Um, you know, you can see here it's not perfect. Um, it is made out of kind of molded plastic here versus you know if you start comparing that to maybe a fluke unit it's just uh you, you hold this in your hand and you know there was a lot of time spent on the quality of the actual materials and the uh, longevity of the unit things of that nature probably a little less so going on here uh, in this unit so i gave it a 7 out of 10. price value here i'm giving it a 9.5 out of 10. like i said you can get this thing with the discount coupon that I link down below, and if you click the link I gave you, uh, you're getting this thing for basically $110. That's a lot. Gosh, I, I would have died to pay $110 for an oscilloscope back in the day. And it would have probably been a five megahertz total piece of junk um, at $110. But um, it's a great value for the money. Overall, I'm giving this thing a nine out of 10. I like it a lot, right? Likelihood I would buy or recommend this to someone I'm at a 9 or a 10. Oh yeah, by the way, it's got a nice little stand here too if you want to use it that way. There again, I said the build quality is not up to uh, your traditional fluke specs, but it, that's a $400 just the multimeter. And oh yeah, by the way, it, this meter doesn't do capacitance at all. Doesn't have a color display on it. Doesn't have an oscilloscope on it. Doesn't have a function generator on it. I could keep going. You get it. Um, this, this is a nice little unit, I do believe, overall. Um, I'm giving this thing two thumbs up, guys.